When I said publicly um, in 1991 that the Earth was a living entity that we could communicate with and could communicate with us, uh, people uh, just dubbed me crazy. crazy. The bottom line is this, everything is conscious. Uh, what we call creation is a, 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 like an ocean of infinite energy, which is manifesting itself in different forms. Um, it's like uh, we may perceive ourselves as droplets, if you like, individuals. But if you put a droplet in the ocean, where does the droplet end and the ocean start? The ocean is the droplet, the droplet is the ocean, and it's the same with us. May look as you do, I may look as I do, that wall may look as, as it does, but they're all expressions of the same energy field uh, manifesting in different ways. So of course the, the planet itself is a living, thinking, emotional entity and uh, we are interacting with that energy field. And one of the things the uh, Illuminati uh, have set out to do and are trying um, ever more to do in the period we're experiencing now is to bring the vibrational state of the Earth's uh, field, the Earth's consciousness, to as low a point as they can because we as human beings are living in that energy field and it's very simple if you affect the sea you affect that which lives in the sea so the more that they can lower the uh, vibrational state of the planet the more it becomes if you like treacle like density the more it we living in that energy field are pulled into that state when you have the wars and the environmental destruction and all these uh, things that, that cause tremendous negative emotional energy, then um, you are um, lowering the vibrational state of the planet, you're lowering the vibrational state of the people, basically holding them in a vibrational prison, which makes it much more difficult, not impossible, but much more difficult for them to hold connection out into the infinite beyond where they can be in this world, but not of it in terms of their perspective of reality. If you disconnect people um, and hold them in this density, hold them in this illusory reality, they are in this world and they are also of it. And therefore, the only um, information that they uh, have to get a fix on, on how they see life themselves and reality in general is through the eyes and the ears. And who controls that? The Illuminati control that through what we largely call the education system, the mainstream media across the planet. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to disconnect us from multidimensional infinity so that we don't see the world from that perspective and therefore see through the illusion and see through the nonsense and see through the lies. And then once they've disconnected people, they then program this lower level of our consciousness with a reality that suits them. Um, and this is why people who have had a different perspective on life, a different perspective on reality, who have held that connection to some extent out into the, into the infinite and have expressed that view, expressed that vision of reality and possibility here, they're the ones that are dubbed crazy, lunatics, and dangerous. Why? Not because they are, but because from the point of consciousness that they are perceiving this world, to people who are here, the vast majority, that is just crazy.
people are just double crazy. If you can suppress the information that people receive in terms of what is possible, you to the same rate suppress their perception of what is possible. Now, once you have accepted that what we're told is possible is how it is, then you're living in a box that big. So anyone that starts to talk about things that are beyond that perception of possibility, you immediately dismiss them as crazy. When you're talking about um, entities that shapeshift, that appear and disappear, UFOs that appear and disappear, if you um, program the population to believe that this world is all there is, that this is a solid world um, of solid individual objects, then the idea of, of things appearing and disappearing or shape-shifting from one state to another, to that sense of perception, is totally ludicrous.